What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to make dust particles using Niagara. It's going to be a very easy build flow, so let's get started. But first, check out the link in the description to get our some Unreal Engine courses on WinFox. Alright, so the first thing that we need is a simple dust texture. I literally found this one online on Google and it just has some transparency on it as you can, as you can see. And it's a PNG and there we go. It looks pretty decent it's a very generic one it doesn't need to be a very you know a crazy one but i'll uh, try to go ahead and link it in the description so you can get this one exactly as i have in here all right so now we can go ahead and just close this image so the first thing that we have to do is create a very simple material for this dust so go ahead and you select it right click and then create material i'm gonna name this m underscore dust and let's go ahead and open this up and we really don't need to do anything crazy it is very simple so what we're going to do is go into the blend mode and put this one into be translucent and then what we can do is just get the alpha and just place it into opacity and now you will see that we have the um well the dust kind of diffuminated around the whole material and nicely blending now there's another option which is to instead do translucent do mask and then put this directly into opacity mask but this leaves a very just you know sharp edges and honestly doesn't look very good you also have this possibility but i do prefer to um leave it in translucent and just directly pass the alpha into opacity all right so now we can go ahead and apply this material and we can close it so the thing is that now we can go ahead and create our niagara system so go ahead and right click go into uh, where was it uh, niagara system and then new system front selected emitters click on next and i can go a bit down until we see hanging particles this is basically the most similar thing to just dust floating in the air uh, that we have by default as a template so just go ahead and click the plus icon and then say finish and now we have our niagara system so ns underscore dust of course you can name it whatever you want let's go ahead and open this up so you will see that we have you know a niagara uh, emitter over here system with some particles just hanging around etc now i do have a tutorial on making your first niagara um, particle system so if you want to check it out i will be linking in the description but anyways go ahead and what we have to do is go ahead and change the sprite renderer to be with our new dust material so let's go ahead and find our dust here it is and dust now you will see that in a few seconds it will start to compile some shares and the um the particles will update to be with our new at uh, once now you probably just you know kind of see them and you see that now it looks a bit better like more like dust but you still kind of don't see it clearly because of the background stuff so we can just go ahead and save and just go ahead and drag it into our scene and you can see that it start appearing so if i go ahead and press play you will see that in a few seconds we start to get some particles and some dust floating over here now it's a bit hard to notice and there's a few things that we can do so first of all let's quickly go ahead and open our dust material back again and i'm gonna go ahead and separate this bit so i'm gonna go ahead and multiply the alpha and then plug this in over here and right now by one it is how it was before but i can increase this into for example 1.3 and now it will be a bit more visible so you just decrease by the alpha and the opacity so it's a bit more noticeable and i can see it better now you can also do the opposite making this less not noticeable by lowering that value but it is uh, how you want to have it so i think this looks pretty cool we can increase it just a bit maybe 1.45 and this is just you know how you want it to look like and you know etc but i think like that kind of looks cool let's go ahead and just put more particles in our scene so we can go into the spawn rate and instead of 50 we can really crank this up into around i don't know uh 500 i may go a bit crazy here but hey <laughs> we want a lot of particles so let's go ahead and preview this and now you can see that we have a lot of particles going in and now they're very noticeable as i basically went ahead and just cranked the knob the number up into a lot and then also went ahead and made the opacity and more visible so of course you can control these parameters in order to play with your settings now another thing that we can do to equilibrate a bit better this uh large amount of you know dust particles in the air we can go into the uh what was it it was here uh shape location so right now is just going ahead and 
uh, making a box and just spawning them randomly in there. So we can go ahead and increase that uh, size. So instead of 400, maybe uh, 700. 700 and maybe like 500. And now, um, yes, we have more particles, but now they're more diverse and spread away from each other. And it still looks pretty cool, as you can see. So we can do one more thing, and it's just to go ahead and add some more movement into them. Like they're, you know, very slow, kind of hanging there. So what we can do is just go into the wind force, and instead of the wind speed being one in the X axis, we can just make it 10, for example. And we can just go ahead and press save and press play. And now you will see that they move a bit more like faster. Like, yeah, there's basically more wind and stuff in the air. So you can go ahead and play with the settings to achieve what you, you know, what you want in this case. You know, you can also change the turbulence mod to, you know, get out the cool noise. But I think it looks really good. And I think it's an aspect of dust. It kind of just wiggles and goes in, in the air and stuff. Change the scale. Uh, the frequency you can put a, a more force in different axes like in the set so it goes up and down you know whatever you want you can go ahead and uh you know, experiment with that so yeah guys i will be leaving this tutorial here if you found it useful i would really appreciate you could like the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine 5 tutorials as this one so go ahead and you want to see them i have just opened my discord server so i will be linking it in the description just in case you want to join where you can talk to devs talk to me ask questions you know showcase your work etc and so on more the 10k subscriber special is very very close um so it will be going ahead and releasing soon i'm working very hard at it so i think you guys will like it a lot and now yes with that said bye bye